This is Exchange Sharp, how they do that. I'm your host, Brad Flubacher. The topic I'm covering today is inherently complicated, but I've done my best to make this accessible and hopefully a little entertaining to everyone. At TechSoft 3D, we make tools that allow software developers to quickly and easily add capabilities like 3D graphics to their engineering applications without having to write it themselves. Using Hoops Exchange, software developers gain access to 3D product design data stored in complicated engineering file formats. This opens up a world of possibilities for workflows such as 3D printing, numerical analysis, and design. Using Exchange, developers can focus on their code for the workflow rather than the code that reads in the 3D parts and assemblies. The Exchange library is written using the C programming language, which was created about 50 years ago. In order for our partners to use Exchange, they must be well-versed in this specific language. However, according to a popular developer survey, only about 16% of them use the C programming language. This breaks my heart, but you can't stop progress. The same survey shows that 31% use the more modern programming language called C Sharp. Unfortunately, C and C Sharp are not really compatible with each other, so you pretty much have to use one or the other. In our particular market, we find that about one in four potential customers ask for C Sharp support. Our frontline sales engineers, or CEs, can attest to this. In fact, this is such a common barrier to selling Exchange that we've decided to do something about it. To tackle the problem of making Exchange accessible to the C Sharp developer, we've created a program that uses an open source library called libclang, which can be found inside many of the most popular compilers. This library doesn't add 3D capabilities like Texas products. Rather, it provides the ability to reliably analyze the source code that a developer writes. Instead of building a compiler with libclang, we've used it to analyze Exchange's C interface. From this analysis, we can then generate a suitable c -sharp interface. We're calling this tool Exchange Parser, since that's basically what it does. So let's see it in action. Here I'm going to the developer website and downloading the Exchange package. I'm also grabbing a license file. So this is essentially the same package that any partner gets when they're working with us. The next step is for me to create a temporary directory here for this demo. I'm then uncompressing Hoops Exchange into this folder. Now I'm going to run the Exchange parser binary with a few command line options. The first is specifying the location of the Exchange installation that we just unpacked. Next is a config file followed by a templates folder that provides some boilerplate. And lastly is the c -sharp folder, and this is where the binding will be written. And now we press Enter. Upon doing so, we can see the Exchange parser reads the Exchange headers and generates all of the requested language bindings for c -sharp. In addition to writing the c -sharp language binding for Exchange, the parser also copied over some sample code from the templates folder. Next, we'll build the c -sharp language binding by executing the command the parser provided us. Oh yeah, sweet success. Finally, we'll change directories to one of the examples that the parser wrote for us. This one is called print product structure, which, believe it or not, prints the assembly structure of the input file that is provided. So we execute it and voila, we can see the assembly structure. Now, using the C-sharp binding, our partners can create cross-platform products integrating seamlessly with Azure for .NET, .NET Core, and Unity without having to worry about interfacing with a different programming language. They can also use Exchange in a PowerShell script, avoiding the need for a compiler altogether. The best part, since it's a direct language binding, there is no performance penalty whatsoever. But don't just take my word for it. Here's a testimonial from David Calkins at Hexagon. This concludes Exchange Sharp, how they do that. If anything you've seen here today is of interest to you, head over to forum.techsoft3d.com and join the conversation. Have a wonderful day.